Well, it's half past nine Monday morning, transfer deadline at 11 o'clock tonight. Is it possibly going to be a long day? Possibly. Um, look, I think it's well documented that we've highlighted who we want and, and how we want it. Um, we'll see if it, it happens. 31st of January, it's been a fantastic month up to now, hasn't it? On and off the pitch. Yes, um, obviously heavy recruitment, new personnel, given the, the squad a new dynamic, um, better results. Yeah, lots to look forward to, but lots of hard work to go. I know you do your homework, obviously, yourself and Chris, the recruitment staff. Um, but for the players to have hit the ground running in the way they have done and the yeah. impact they've made, that must have really pushed them out. Yeah, I mean, Chris, Chris and his team of video and recruitment analysts, along with me, have spent hours and hours and hours and trawling list upon list and player upon player and watching so much. Um, but when we've got a brand and identity like we've got, it becomes easier to recruit for. And so these players, yes, it's a new club, but we've already kind of highlighted that they can do things our way. Um, so that's the benefit of due diligence. And hopefully we're seeing that come to life on, on the pitch on Saturdays. As you say, it's, it's got players in who almost know, they're ready made almost in, in your minds so that they're going to fit into, yeah. into, into the team. Exactly, yeah. I mean, we, we kind of know what every position should look like and the attributes and uh, qualities they should have for that position. Um, the lads we've brought in have, have done really well so far, but it's only a start. We've got lots of things to do and, and work on. It is a start, but it hit a, a real peak on Saturday with that 6-0 win against someone. Yeah. I mean, that was near perfection on the day, wasn't it? Yeah, near, key word, near perfection. Um, yeah, I don't believe perfect exists. I think it's something that we all strive to be. But we just want to be better and better and there's loads of things Saturday we can still improve on. We've now got to go to Tuesday and another really difficult game against Cambridge and and, and manage that the same way and, and have the same intensity and work ethic we did on Saturday, give it the same importance. And if we do that, we've got a chance of winning the game. Yeah, last word on Sunderland then. How satisfying the scoreline was fantastic. It was a, a record. The, the manner of the, of, of the play and the style of the goals and the way you created the goals, it, it was a bit of quality about it. Yeah, like we, we do a lot of hard work on the training ground and credit to the players, they implemented our game plan to perfection, almost perfection I should say. Um, yeah, we were good in and out of possession um, and we earned the right and some of our goals were exhilarating at times. But yeah, it's, it's just a start and it's only three points, we've got lots of catching up to do and lots of hard work to go. Yes, it is a clean slate to start again on Tuesday night against Cambridge, they side themselves in good form. Yeah, um, everyone we seem to be playing against in good form at the moment. It's just the nature of the league and how difficult and challenging it can be. It's relentless and unforgiving, but we've got another opportunity at home on Tuesday to perform the same way, and hopefully that's good enough to get us three points. It's a bit of a balance of managing expectation, but also harnessing the sort of feeling that was around the stadium. Yeah, look, we want the fans to be absolutely thrilled and delighted on Saturday, and, and if they're not, then you know there's something wrong. They're in the wrong game. We're in the wrong game. Uh, but as I said, it's only three points. There's, there's lots more games to play and, and work on and, and improve. And Tuesday gives us another chance to do that. Um, as I said, it wasn't perfect on Saturday. There's still things we need to do better and hopefully we can show some more improvement on Tuesday. There are lots and it's an eight-game eight month, isn't it? This is always going to be quite uh, big with the, the postponements we've had over Christmas. Which is, uh, this is going to be quite a, a yeah. momentum month. Possibly. Yeah, and I think that's exactly it. I think at the end of this month we'll kind of understand how our season's going to look and where we're going to end up. Um, we're going to fight tooth and nail to, to make sure it's as high as it can possibly be. And lastly, on personnel, everybody OK from Saturday? You talked about a, a workload you're going to manage out with certain players. Is everybody OK? Everyone's OK at the moment. Um, as I said, there's, there's stuff that is ongoing that needs to be managed. Um, we'll keep that in-house. But yeah, there's a lot of games this month and now we have a squad capable of, of rotation without having that drop-off, which is pleasing. Yeah, it's two new signings. Got a few from the bench on Saturday, which was nice. Kieran got his first taste of, of being a Bolton, and again, it just underlines the squad strength and sort of building. Doesn't yeah, it? and what was pleasing on Saturday was when a team's four 0 up and you've you've made three substitutions all at once. You could normally have a drop off and and just manage the game out and it, it die of death really. But we carried on and we had that momentum, we had that intensity and aggression to want to carry on and get more. And the lads that came on wanted to prove a point, and that highlighted with the the last two goals. So